uh, we are uh, in the midst of counting for Jharkhand. Uh, still largely postal ballots, we're told, but uh, the EVMs are now being counted much faster. Uh, these are the latest leads on your screens. The gap has widened a bit more, uh, or, or actually, no, it's narrowed again, because why not? Uh, but the GMM Congress uh, at 35 at the moment, uh, all leads are in, by the way, Vasu, as far as our yeah. numbers are concerned, of these largely postal ballots. Yes. Uh, so 35 to 31. And please remember that the others who are, some of these other parties like the AJSU, the JVM, these are all potential BJP allies. So that's going to be very important if the numbers stay this way. But Vasu, the other channels have sli uh, slightly different figures at the moment. Yes, that's right. The other channels, which is basically a collation of what the other channels, national mostly, I assume, are reporting, is actually showing, and is flashing on the screen right now, the JMM Plus is at 42. So they have actually crossed the halfway mark, according to the other channels. But again, this is early days. At the same time, I would say, Dorab, that it is going to be a cause of concern for the BJP because generally it is expected that they do well in the postal ballots, counting with largely government employees and yep. so on and so forth. But <clears throat> that said, the fact that they are now, you see that the JMM Congress is pulling away, leading in almost nine or ten seats. But that, would be, uh, that would be concerning. Of course it should concern them because they are down seven seats and AJSU, their ally, yeah. which had one seat amongst these, now has five. So, yes. you know, AJSU actually is doing very well. And JVM, the potential ally, yes. is not doing so well. But I think, you know, the Congress has something to be happy about at the moment, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, you mean, uh, and in terms of their individual tally, yeah, I mean, they're yeah. gaining at least six seats. And But th this, this could, Nilanjan, change because uh, once we get more of the EVMs now, um, in a small assembly, every seat is going to matter. Yeah, yeah. It's, every seat's going to matter. And right now, I mean, if we were to just take these numbers, forget about, you know, wh where we are, I mean, it still looks like there's uh, a lot of opportunity for bargaining. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is this is looking almost like a 50-50 verdict. Now we expect as the actual votes start coming in, the EVM votes start coming in, uh, what typically happens is you start, and we, we're quite used to this, at about 9 a.m. it starts pushing one way and you start then really sort of seeing where the trend is so going. So maybe in another 15, 20 minutes, yeah, 15, we might have a slightly clearer picture. Amitabh? Amitabh, uh, has the Congress already started calling up uh, Sudesh Mehto and Babulal Marandi? I'm sure everyone has spoken to everyone <laughs> by now. <laughs> yes. uh, because I think uh, everyone is aware that this kind of an outcome is quite a likely outcome, assuming it stays stays this way, and yes. that bargaining will be called for. And I think the interesting thing is whether Ajsu <coughs> does a shift say now or not, um, and switches over, because everything is possible. in uh, it. And they have... A lot of grouses with the BJP because the way the BJP treated them in the negotiations, yes. and I think they were offering them, if I'm not mistaken, 12 seats. Right now, 12 looks like it was definitely the right decision not to take that. Yeah, so the, the, so yeah. we have to wait and see how the coalition partners look at the national picture and then make a decision. Which the BJP only needs one partner, the odds are. Yes. Right. While the others are already an alliance, somebody could break. Right. While the BJP needs just one guy with a few seats yes. to make all the difference. So Sudesh Mehto, Deputy Chief Minister, and uh, game over. Right for the Congress With and uh, the Congress and the JMM. If the numbers don't change, correct. Perhaps they will. Vivek Reddy, uh, just coming back to you, that uh, <coughs> what do you make of this? I mean, the fact is that had you gone with the AJSU, then you might be in a very different position. So once again, is there a lesson there for the BJP of being too arrogant with your allies? Well, I think these are early trends, Vasu. We have to wait for the measures <coughs> to at least reach a halfway stage for us to make such a guess. But AJSU appears to have been very strong in its demand on the number of seats it wanted to contest. But still, I think the decision was made having regard to the circumstances. I think it is a good decision that BJP went alone. And uh, of course, there could have been various permutations and combinations or various projections if AJSU was in the basket with BJP and facing the alliance as an alliance facing the polls together. But the whole issue is that even after the stage that we have reached now in this counting, I think there is no emergence of a clear winner as of now. It really seems to be in the doldrums. And we have to see how the voting machines, what sort of results the voting machines give. I think till then we will have to keep our fingers crossed. But I am sure in the voting machines, the BJP will emerge strong and successful. That's when we'll have to look at the political fallout of the events.